Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 8.0, and today is day 31. Well, today we sort of round out our campaigns experience and our campaigns applet with the new paid ads experience. This will be a multi-day training, just as a heads up, so we'll have several videos on this. The new paid ads experience <clears throat> is rather comprehensive, and there's a lot to it. So just kind of sit tight and work with me through the next couple of days as we unpack all it has to hold for us. So megaphone left hand side is our campaigns icon. So we're going to open up campaigns and we're going to check out to start the paid ads tab and sort of walk through that. So if we click on paid ads, we get several things happening here on this page. So to start at the very top left, You've sort of got a, uh, a heads up, hey, this is the all new paid ad experience powered by AI. Uh, you can execute powerful digital marketing campaigns without any exp uh, any expertise, there is some expense, uh, and generate even better results all in one place. By the way, if you're looking for your old campaigns, just scroll down to find your legacy paid ad campaign. So as a heads up, if you were looking for metrics for previous ads that were run prior to the new paid ad experience being rolled out, you can find them here at the bottom. Next up here on the right hand side, you've got three helpful links. So you've got your account settings, you've got your manage paid ad channel helpful link, and then a learn more about link. In the middle section here, we've got a manage paid ads campaign section. Essentially, there are three main types of ads. You can see them listed there. So if you are up and running with ads, you would be able to click on any one of these three categories and go directly to the ads that you were running from each one of those types. Scrolling down a little bit further, we've got some additional training. So you can see there are three paid ad experience training videos. So we've got one with Tyler Shields and then a couple here from, I think uh, Donnie may be involved in these and our KWU tech team as well. So that's sort of the um, paid ads home screen. One thing to note, Previously, you could see all of your metrics on this home screen from your legacy ads. In the new paid ads experience, we are going to have to dive into the ad manager portion here in command to get those metrics, so just a heads up. Uh, in order to start running ads, there are two things we want to do before we dive into the actual paid ad builder. That is one, connect a credit card because we do have to pay for these ads and two, connect a Facebook page because we've got to run those off of a business page, not just our personal profile. So to do those two things, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to come over to account settings here in the top right. And then when we do that, it's going to take us into the ad builder. So this is sort of that new UI or user interface you may not be familiar with if you haven't run ads before. Nothing too big to worry about. Uh, but the first thing here is account settings under billing details. We're going to click this drop down. And this is where we would click on add new card. We would start to type in the card that we have that we want to use. We would add in the expiration and the CVC number. Make sure that we had a card on file for when we begin to run those ads. From there, the second step, and once you put that card in, you're good. It'll be used for all of your future ads. You can have more than one card on file, by the way. So if you have some ads that you're doing for specific purposes that you want charged to one card and then ads for another purpose charged to another card, you can't have more than one card on file. The second thing I would recommend you do is you come in and you manage your paid ads channel. So this is essentially just connecting command to your Meta or Facebook accounts such that you can continue running ads. So we're going to click on continue with Facebook. And then from here, you can see it actually opens up my Facebook page. It says, do you want to connect or reconnect? Now, I have previously connected this account, so it's telling me we can reconnect it. If you've never done it before, it'll ask you to connect. I can click on reconnect, and you can see pretty straightforward. Marty Miller has been connected to Campaign Connect. If you have not connected before, it would ask you to log in to your Facebook page and then choose which business page you want to connect. And it should let us do that here. Yep, on the next page. So my Facebook profile has four business pages connected to it. It's basically saying, which one of those would you like to connect? So we'll choose this one here and I can select that page. So it just says, hey, are you sure that's the one you want to use? And now it is linking that Facebook business page. You can see here to the paid ad experience. Now I can set that as my default. 
I can go back to the dashboard. You can see which current profile I am using, which Facebook page did it go through, and have I accepted the terms of service. We definitely want all of these to be green check marks. If for any reason there are not all four green check marks, it should have some information about what you need to do to correct that. If for any reason I didn't want to connect that particular business page, I can unlink Facebook pages down here at the bottom. On the left hand side, just as kind of a run through on this home screen here inside the main dashboard, we're going to click on dashboard to start. And that's going to give us the ad types that we have available that we can run ads with. Now there are 12 of those. If you have a team, there may be a 13th. But you can see, and I want to highlight the two main different ad types when it comes time to start running ads. There are four here listed at the top that are in blue. These are our generate lead ad styles. What that means is when someone clicks on an ad run using one of those first four, a pop-up will occur. So whether that ad's being run on Facebook or Instagram, if the consumer clicks on your ad, a pop-up occurs and it asks them to fill in their information and submit. Oftentimes that information will be pre-populated and yet they do have to confirm that it's accurate and then submit that information to you as the agent. Once they do that, they get to go to the landing page that you direct them to. So wherever you intended them to go after they clicked on the ad, they've got to provide their information first before they can go. If they don't provide their information, they X out of the pop-up, then they're gonna go back to Facebook. In this scenario, that is considered a click and yet not a lead. When they fill in the information and submit the information, then you have a click and a lead. The one piece of vocabulary that we're also missing is called impressions. So when we talk about our ads, we talk about how many impressions we got, how many clicks we got, and how many leads we got. An impression is simply someone seeing the ad. They scrolled past it, chose not to do anything with it, and yet Facebook does register that they saw the ad by logging one impression. Down here at the bottom, you've got eight additional ad types. These are all in yellow. These are our generate traffic style ad types. What that means is essentially there is no pop-up to collect the consumer's information. If you're using one of these eight ad types, the consumer is going to click on the ad and go directly to the page you intended them to go to. So in that sense, wherever you're driving them to needs to be informative and also needs to have some sort of lead capture form and of, of itself, right? So you could, for example, send them to, if you were doing a first time home buyer seminar and you wanted them to register on a third party site like Eventbrite, for example, you could send them straight to Eventbrite and capture their information using Eventbrite as compared to using the Facebook lead form. So that's the main difference between the 12 ad types. Four of them will generate leads for you that will automatically come into command. Eight of them will not. They will send them directly to the landing page or website that you have uh, decided to send them to. And then we need to have that page collect those leads. On the left hand side, you do have programs. This is just what your ads are called inside of the new paid ad experience. So program, just a slight vocabulary change as compared to ad or campaign. They're now called programs. Next up, we've got assets. So you can see which Facebook business pages you connected. By the way, you can connect more than one, and then you would just decide in the paid ad experience which one you want to run the ad on. You can also see all of your leads in one place. So this is where you would have all the contact information, name, phone number, email, which ad they came in, what date they came in on, and you would see all of that inside of here. And then finally, you've got your media library. So if there's any specific media assets that you use on a regular basis, you would wanna load them here. That way you can continue to go back and use them often. I'm gonna go ahead and pause here. Uh, tomorrow, we will dive into the actual creation process of starting a new ad. We'll run an ad on Facebook, Instagram, show you kind of how that build out looks like. We'll talk a little bit about Google AdWords and we'll continue to grow in our knowledge of the paid ad experience from here. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. And as always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.